going on guys so I'm up here at JLT today uh, out in Chesapeake Virginia and I'm gonna be getting the JLT cold air intake installed so we'll be removing the air aid here and putting on the JLT I'm getting the one with the uh, the Oxford white tube on it with the red filter and I'll probably check on a pre-filter too to see if they have any of those in stock so let's go ahead and get started all right so we're gonna be doing this install inside because uh, it's like 20 some degrees outside So the intake is installed. Now what I need to do is go ahead and load the uh, tune up there. As you can see right now, the air aid tune is still on. I contacted Lund a few weeks ago and got the JLT tune, which will be right here, as you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and select that, flash this tune. And approximately three minutes, the JLT tune should be loaded. So on the way over here, my tire pressure indicator went off and there would be the reason why that nail right there. So I'm gonna have to get that taken care of. Look at the finished product anyway. Man, it looks good, I like it. Alright, so I got the tire patched up now. I had to call Terrence up to uh, come save the day for me. <laughs> <laughs> man, go ahead, man. So now we're ready for first startup. So let's go ahead and see how she sounds after the, uh, the new tune is up there and make sure everything's running right. the difference and feel the difference that's crazy that's ridiculous this tune feels a lot better let me try it in sport mode around here so I don't want to go too crazy with it but I can, I can feel the difference for sure feels good too <laughs> oh yeah all right so the first test drive went good so now we're gonna go ahead and head back and get this thing on the interstate I'm gonna have to get some gas at some point uh, have to keep an eye on that tire to check that pressure when I get back there but anyway I have uh, I do have the pre-filter here 
Um, I didn't put it on yet. I'll, I'll put it on once I get back uh, to Virginia Beach. The first thing I noticed with just in driving is that I can hear a lot more air coming in and I can, I can feel more power. So I don't know how well it's going to come across on video, but I can literally hear the air um, kind of whooshing into the engine, if you will, making its way into the engine. So it's a lot more airflow coming in, I can tell already. The car also sounds different now. It makes power. I mean, it just it just feels like it can breathe better. Is the easiest way that I can really explain it. Uh, so I'm I'm pleased with it so far. We'll see long term. I still have to get it on the interstate and do a couple of runs and push it to see how it performs, but. Uh, but I can definitely tell the uh, the increase in performance over the air aid intake, uh, definitely for sure. You know, there's there's no question about that. I didn't have it dynoed with the Lun Tune, so I can't tell you how much more horsepower it's making or anything like that. So it's just kind of a a driver seat dyno, I guess, if if you want to call it that. But you know, when when it's your car and you drive it, you can kind of tell the difference in performance. I can't pin down how you know it's making five or ten more horsepower i can't tell you specifics i will get it dynoed at some point in the near future uh but i'm kind of waiting until i get headers on there first just so i don't have to keep going back and forth with it so once i get the headers and everything that i want to do done i'll test it out again and, and see what it what it comes in at all right so we're headed to the interstate here and i should be able to hopefully get it up to speed and test it out a little bit, trying to give myself a little bit of breathing room here for this car. All right, let's go. Yeah. It's definitely putting down more power, man. I can tell you that much. Good Lord. And like I said, you can even hear the engine is getting more air. It's louder. I, so I, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. All right, so I've had a few uh, hours to drive around with the uh, JLT intake installed, and I can I can definitely feel the difference in it. it. Made a huge difference along with the Lund tune. So if you don't have an intake and you plan on tuning your car. I suggest looking at the JLT. I think it's the way to go. Um, I could definitely feel an increase in power. All right, guys, so I have the uh, pre-filter installed now, and it's basically just a sleeve that goes over top of the uh, air filter, and it helps prevent uh, water and dirt, debris from getting inside of there, so it extends the life of the filter so you don't have to clean it as often. So I went ahead and put that up there. When I take it to shows, I'll probably take it off just because the filter is red and kind of blends in with the color scheme of my car. So I like to show that off. But for daily driving, I'll probably just leave the uh, pre-filter on. All right, so final thoughts on the JLT cold air intake. I think it's definitely an option that you should consider if you're looking to get an intake and you're already committed to getting a tune on your car. Um, for those that are worried about voiding the warranty or, you know, any, any other issues that arise from tuning the car, I, I still think the aerate is a good way to go. Um, never had any issues with it. I just wanted to increase my power, and because my car was already tuned, it just made sense to go ahead and go with an intake that required a tune. All right, so that's pretty much it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support, and see you next time.